So sometimes it seems like it's not rocket science to put these on, but it is rocket science and it gets very frustrating for the patient, for the clinician, for the hygienist. And again, this is just one more thing with the screw retained restoration that you've got to deal with. And that's what makes Roto so nice, is I don't have to deal with this. Now she's going to cover the screw access hole. Okay, so we're still not done with it. Uh, initial impressions were very positive. I mean, when you see Roto, it's kind of like, uh, you know, a two by four over the head. It just makes so much sense. Uh, it's really a very innovative but straightforward solution to cementing or screwing in restoration. So it makes a lot of sense. Uh, this gentleman's had this lower restoration. It's tight as a tick. You can see... How do we get this on? I don't see the screw holes. What, uh, <laughs> what do we do? I don't see any screw holes on it. What the heck? So we've got a couple of fractures due to bacon, and um, most of the time we like bacon. In this instance, we don't. So what we're going to do is take this off, and I'm, I've got a really hectic schedule today, oh. and so um, Maggie's going to do it because she's the bomb, okay? Mm -hmm. Remember, she's an EF2, and she teaches up at UOP, and so she's great. Um, so we're going to do that, and we're going to um, just repair this, and then we'll get it back on there. Okay. So for the past year, I've been working with Dr. Danson very closely, removing the rotor restorations, making impressions, and also doing what we're doing today, which is the on for. It's just time, basically, for Dr. Danson for being able to free him up. He can see other patients while I'm inserting restorations and removing them if needed. Maggie is so good at this. And with the technology, mm -hmm. I want her to do it mm -hmm. because that's how easy it is. It's wow. so straightforward. This is the vacuum form that we make, and it shows us where all the implants are located. You can see it's got the marks there. Okay. So it just shows us where the implants are located. That way you know exactly where to put the smile key when you're using it. And you can see it runs buckle to lingual too. And so now I'm gonna use the smile key to remove the restoration. Just let me know if anything's uncomfortable while I'm working, okay? This is gonna go for eight seconds here. Okay. Try to open a little bit. There it is. Uh, the benefits are very, very simply that it provides predictable retrievability um, with no screw access chambers. Uh, screw access chambers, uh, first and foremost, are just a pain in the neck to deal with. Uh, cotton, uh, Teflon tape, uh, whatever you want to put down there uh, is difficult. And then covering it with some type of material, it can get away the occlusion. Uh, also, it can, you know, cause issues where you can't do it because of the screw access channel. So. Roto takes that screw access channel out of the, the uh, equation and it offers predictability of retrievability because of the induction unit, which is absolutely fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and put this on. You see, I'm going to push the cylinder down. I'm going to turn this a little, lift my cylinder back up, and then turn it and bring it off cementing or screwing in restorations. You know, again, not to beat up on it, it, it works well and it, it works for a lot of clinicians, but if clinicians could realize how simplistic it is, and yesterday we had one of my assistants remove that all on four. It, it's very easy, very, very easy to do. And then we'd like our hygienists always to remove them so I don't have to go in there and you know, waste time. And it's much easier to do with Roto, much easier. The first few on this side, I felt nothing, but then once she did the one over here, I did feel some heat. It just like a tingling heat feeling. Nothing too crazy, though? No, no, it wasn't traumatic. Mm -mm. Tolerable. <laughs> Quite. So what we've done is we've repaired this restoration. We have the teeth back on. There you are, Rob. So yeah. Move the end, okay? Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the smile locks back together. I like to put them on a tongue blade like this, and then I like to use the cedar. This is a smile lock cedar, okay? And so what we're going to do is come over and pick these up, 
Notice this cylinder is up. We have the cylinder up. We're going to come in and we're going to come in and now I'm going to push it down. Now I'm going to push this cylinder down. So I push that cylinder down and I like to turn it. You can see I'm going to turn that and then I'll lift the cylinder back up. And there we go. So we've got our restoration. We have our smile locks in place. We put our seals on. We torque everything down. We've repaired our restoration. I now have a, a, a basic evacuation unit that I like him to, Mr. Thirsty we call it. So I'm gonna have him bite on this and I have a green stick that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put this in and kind of line this up. Okay, you can see it's kind of close and you can kind of hear it and that's it. Sometimes you hear it, sometimes you don't. And then I'm gonna have his upper denture is in. I'm gonna use Mr. Thirsty to start and go ahead and close and bite real. Did you just hear that pop a little and open and go ahead and close? and bite real hard. Good. Open and close. Arr. And tap, tap, tap. And you can see we're rock solid. Rock solid. What did that take us to put the smile locks on? You know, um, it took maybe a couple of minutes and then to seat it, it takes maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Um, it's hands down uh, easier. It's just, you know, it's not that I'm uh, trying to beat up uh, traditions but screws and the amount of time that I've spent removing screw access material or trying to line it up and getting the screws to work like we demonstrated in there, it's, uh, it's a big deal.